Last quiz! It's a long one. Oh my goodness. But it's important. So at least Yeah. That's... I get what you mean. Finally! <laughs> See Jared? It's not already story yet, but but it's an important quiz. It's gonna be split into three parts, Jared. No, it's not. Trouble with the ledges. Shouldn't he be asking Otto for help? Hey, oh, back. Kim. There's revenge. Oh yeah, again. <laughs> if it's a, if it's revenge, revenge again. again. No, what the. Heck? I don't think this is a revenge. You don't think it's revenge? No, I already played it, like, during this recording. Yeah, it's not a revenge. Mid told me she was building a ship. Clive, did you get my letter? That's why I'm here. <laughs> a little. <laughs> Listen, I've some. He's whispering. Ideas. It turns out Why? the Hideaway may be slightly behind in its payment to certain lenders, and it's maybe my fault. But I swear to the goddess, I thought I had the numbers square. Sadly, that square turned out to be more of a circle. Oh no! <laughs> Zero. You oh, forgot oh, to pay! Oh, I can straighten it out, I oh, swear. Oh no! It's gonna take some time. Oh no! I'm gonna need help keeping it from Otto. Pay the rent! Be late for that, I would say. Oh! oh he's in true oh, trouble! Oh, surprise! Oh no! So Otto's like... Straight. Menacing. You forget to pay our lenders... Everyone money. scram! And no, it's only him. straight to me, you get Clive to come to you. I know he'll dig you out of the hole you've dug for yourself. Clive, the man in charge of the place you've been cheerful. Well, we've got paid the bank. bill somehow. If we wanted to keep and the secrets, he's still a secret. Plan. Why? Well, who needs paying? Oh, just Martha. And the dame. And, well, Lady Karen. <laughs> but only 500 talents. We owe three of our most trusted friends five million. Oh, 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 oh. Fifteen million each. Gil. Oh, so Jesus. You need. We used to rebuild the hideaway. So Jesus you Christ. Know, that's that's like. Oh. 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 Oh my God. Might as well hack the game. You want to get that rich? Decision to entrust them to you. This is my fault. Do we have that much to hand? I can always ask my uncle. No, we don't. And no, you won't. We've lightened Lord Rossfield's purse enough. After the King's ransom we had off him, he deserves better than to see our begging bowl. Besides, we'll need to learn to stand on our own if we're gonna make this work. All right. But that doesn't mean you have to shoulder the burden yourself. Is there anything I can do to help? There might be. How'd you fancy taking these to Martha and the Dame? Rocks. Rocks, he says. Worth a thousand talents apiece, these are. A little something Sid and I set aside for when times got lean. And I reckon 15 million in overdue debt probably qualifies. I just hope our associates' eyes are a bit more discerning than yours. I'm sure there will be. Mm. Should be me making the rounds, really. But you know how it is with this place. Orders to bark, asses to wipe and all that. I know. Which is why I don't mind going in your place. Go. Do you know why I only gave Master Clive here two star rubies? Because... you'd rather Lady Karen killed me. Because <laughs> I'd rather Lady Karen killed you. Oh no! <laughs> wow. Oh no! Well, I suppose this is goodbye then. Don't worry. 
I'm sure Karen will understand. Are you sure about that? I think so. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> LOL! Oh, he is good as dead. He's so dead indeed. 15 million. But we're gonna oh give them God. like a precious a precious like auto give us something. Like those very expensive yeah, rocks. To. Has to be surprised for our our pay. We weren't expecting you. I wasn't expecting to be here. <laughs> it seems we still owe what? you a you know, considerable amount. Is that supposed to be Clive with our rebuilding efforts? And it was I supposed to be him. You were expecting that guy. We were hoping you'd take this as payment. Dollar ruby. A star ruby. I can't accept this. It's oh, we worth have no choice. Twice what you owe me. More if you can find yourself the right buyer. Think of the difference as interest. Interest? If word got out I charged that much, no one would ever borrow from me again. Anyway, why are you the one here asking me about this? I'd have expected Otto. Bit much sending the Lord Marquis out to sell your debts, isn't it? The old goat working himself to death again. Something like that. Most days I think he's the only reason the hideaway's still standing. Same as always, eh? Back when the place was nothing but a twinkle in the eye of a recently retired Lord Commander, word is he was the first one Sid reached out to. Probably knew that without his strong arm and level head, the idea would never get off the ground. Sid may have been the face of the hideaway, but Otto's always been the backbone. And when Sid passed away, we were all worried that would be the end of it. That Otto would just give up. His death was hard on everyone. But it must have hit Otto hardest of all. But he didn't give up, did he? Quite the opposite, in fact. If I recall, he was the one who nominated you as Sid's replacement. And rallied the rest around you. I reckon what he saw in Sid, he saw in you So he too. did? Oh, like, and don't we like, all? I mean, Otto... Doesn't hurt that you're made, half as like, stubborn and twice as handsome. Like, Clive's the, is the candidate that, and you for the next Sid. <laughs> I guess so, then. I suppose I do. I want to learn more, more backstory. Oh, so he seems like an important character. He certainly does, if you think about it. She just said it. Like Otto's like. Well, the oldest. People know Sid. Citizens are yeah. free to come and go as they please. Yeah. Checkpoints open to all. You'll find little beyond Northridge, though. When oh, now he's moves, being nice. Oh. Last I was like, get out of my sight. I felt. Want to see you. I guess maybe because you're, we were branded. Oh, maybe that's why it did. Because the branded was it's gone. Lady. I come bearing gifts. Gifts? Whatever is the occasion. I got a lot of star, Ruby. Oh my. Clive, you really have outdone yourself. Otto asked me to give it to you. To settle the hideaways dead with the veil. And to compensate you for the time it took us to do so. <sighs> You disappoint me, Clive. I thought you might finally be warming to me. Tell Otto he can keep his baubles. I tried to tell him as much the first time around. The man owes me nothing, nor does the hideaway. My contribution to the restoration effort was made freely and willingly. It was the Hello? least I could do. Hello. 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 Told me Sid did yeah, and, uh, okay. Welcome back. I got food. I'd like to do the same. Please, accept nice. it. For my sake. And for Otto's. For all of us. For all you've done. <sighs> it is rather fetching, isn't it? Very well. 
Otto is lucky to have you, Clive. I doubt anything could ever replace his son. But you and the others at the hideaway are the closest thing he has to family. That's right. Otto had a son. Oh. <laughs> Long you ago. You forgot the Vin Diesel one? Yes. No, that, that, that jump scared him when it, he was just That boy. jump scared me a bit. And blamed himself Vin Diesel jump scared you? Stop it. <laughs> yeah, just a little. <laughs> What? what? That scared me a bit. Done. Where were this family? There's was gonna be Ben Diesel saying, I didn't know. That's right. How could you have? I doubt anyone did. Besides Sid, I've never met a man more keen to bear his sorrows in stoic silence. An ill habit, given that both have always been surrounded by friends desperate to help them. <laughs> I'm beginning to see that. We will want to know the stones were delivered. If he's still with us. <laughs> I don't think he's dead yet. No, nope, he's still yet. there. I don't want him to die. He's a funny guy. I'm sure he won't die. Lady Carol will be like, Fuck no! <laughs> 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 oh. That will be funny if it did happen. Told me she was building a ship. Like throw the rock back at him. Like throw the rock. I mean, the star ruby. Right back at him. Goat. Oh, he's still alive. Still alive, I see. So Lady Karen accepted the ruby. He did die, oh, thank God. About that, uh, I tried my best, but she was just too stubborn to take it. She threw it right back in my face. Yes, she did. <laughs> that was like, like. No. <laughs> I'm sure you were as tactful as ever. Yes! <laughs> My joke no. really worked! Oh, wonderful. I hope you have better luck than uh. I did. Yeah, I hope she doesn't throw this at my face. <laughs> oh, it's Clive. So she's not gonna throw it. Nah, I doubt it. Wait, what the fuck did I just do? What? What happened? Oh! I muted myself by accident. Lady Karen. Oh, you muted. <laughs> Go tells me you weren't happy with our offer. Would you prefer the debt was repaid in coin? More debt? But for, for some reason, your voice was still Arden picking Gil? up. Oh, then I muted myself I then. The I muted my, uh... My volume for uh, what I was hearing, you guys. You my mic was still active. Of course. I just couldn't hear. I muted my volume. Just volume. <laughs> just the volume. Surely you wouldn't shun wow, the laughing was. The, the laughing become a prince. Made it so hard oh. that computer so you're a mute itself. Now, are you? <laughs> it muted <laughs> itself. <laughs> because we are laughing because mode, because Lady Karen like, it or not. like yeah. the joke. <laughs> Became a reality. <laughs> Freaking Lady Karen just froze a rock at him. Like my joke really worked. Where'd you even get this? A decent trader might nab a thousand talents for a star ruby. A canny one, meanwhile, might claim it were nicked from the belt of Sid the Outlaw himself and ask twice as much. Oof, you don't oh, want a nick pick. Grabbing Sid's corpse. Nowhere. A fine continental maid whose beauty is only eclipsed by a guile in commerce. You won't mind, would you? Not at all. Just be sure to tell her that it's always a pleasure doing business. I hear you ended up delivering all three stones. Thanks to this lump. I sometimes wonder what I pay you for. Speaking of which, I, uh, I, uh, I still haven't been paid last month's wages. Oh, so you remember what's owed to you then? Get your ass beyond that disc of yours and don't get up before those ledges are square. <laughs> right away. <laughs> he's so in trouble. Oh, he super is, Nathan. He super is. Because he did fuck yeah. up, by the way. Plenty of times. 
for messing up with the payments. So he will be getting punishment for that. I knew so little about him. Like most people. Martha and the Dame both seem to have fond memories of him. Huh. I bet they do. How long did you know Sid before he... Before he died. Twenty summers, give or take. Back in the day, I was a purser on a trade ship. Which is where I met him. He bought passage to... I oh, forget where. But having nothing better to do on the long nights, we set up drinking island rum till the morning bell dragged me back to my duties. Quit my post not long after that. On account of making a fine maiden's belly fat. But me and Sid stayed close. Promising we'd one day sail the seas again. That was... before fate stepped in. And said she was having none of it. The magic woke inside my son soon after his first name day. And there was no hiding his neck. Couldn't you and your family have... My family... were the ones who summoned the constable. Wanted the monster taken away. I couldn't turn my back on him. Forget what I felt. And I couldn't for the life of me understand how they could. Luckily... Sid was of the same mind as me. It was him who stood beside me when... All I wanted was to tear the whole world down. Him who cried for me when I had no tears left of my own. Him who swore he'd do everything he could to stop it from happening again. And he was true to his word, too. Left the Royal Army once and for all. His ranks, his ribbons, gone. Just like that. Threw away everything he had, all to right a wrong that no one else had the courage to face. I knew then I'd follow that man to the ends of the earth. Oh, backstory. Like, I mean, a cutscene. Still alive. Was always too clever for his own good, was Sid. Saw the world for what it really was, while the rest of us were content to go along with the lie we were shown. And it can't have been easy bearing that burden alone. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Grab some smoke. pack of cigarettes. Grab some smoke. But he didn't let it stop him. He never lost faith in what he is cigarettes the same was right. thing as in the Final Fantasy that series, or is there like a different name him. for them? Faith Which one? The uh, the one that said smoking myself, with cigarettes. Be right no. Ready to catch no. The stubborn sod. I don't think it. <laughs> every Sid smokes. Oh no 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 no! I mean like the the type that's Sid smoking in this game. But I couldn't even do that. Oh, oh no. No, it's not the same one. Oh, okay then. So it different then. Just gotcha. The of a tired old man. Leave that lot. I'll tidy it up in a bit. This. This is Sid's handwriting. Dear Otto. I may be drunk, but I wanted you to know this place would be fucked without you. Love you, you old grumpy old sod. This note. Hmm? What about it? Sid was right. Without you, we all be lost. Be 
you should have bloody well said so then. Just once. Before he went. But then why would he? Him or anyone? I'd only have told him to piss off. You're wrong, though. Both of you. It was never just me keeping the hideaway afloat. It was all of us. I just shoved people in the right direction. I barely seem to be able to do that anymore. Would you rather go with the helm? <laughs> well, maybe I've got a few more years left in me. <laughs> I'm going to hold you to that, Otto. Before you go, Sid would have wanted you to have this. But that's... This will do me just fine. Thanks for the ray of sunshine. I'll see if I can't pay you back. Already have. Oh! That's actually Why fitting. Because, you know, Sid, like, and then Otto. Otto's now a happy man. Like, you know. Watch this. That feels good. No more side quests, guys. <gasps> no. We're free! And Jared's like, yes! Jared's all excited now. Alright, we're gonna go story now, guys. You earned this. Best of luck out there, Sid. Alright, Clive. Astrid. We'd finish sending half the hideaway tropes in across the twins, has she? I swear, that girl do anything to put off visiting her old dad's grave. No excuses now, though, eh? Not quite. She said there was one final thing she had to take care of. I'm sure she'll be finished soon enough. She said that? In those words? She... did, yes. Clive? Were you born yesterday or something? There is no thing... She'll probably be halfway to Canva by now. Oh, mid. I might still be able to catch she her. She just left already? Jill left? Not Jill. Mid. Mid left? Mid told me she was building a ship. That was quick. Like she just left? Mid. Maybe we got you a new side crack. Yep. <laughs> oh, side quest, yeah! That's actually true! We were doing side quests! And I'm too late. Yo, that could be it. That might be the reason why she left. We were she, we were too busy with side quests and she's like, You know what? Fuck this shit, I'm out of here. They were taking too long. Okay, that's hilarious. That would be a pretty good joke. Got a letter for you. Urgent, by the sound of it. One of your uncle's men said I was. Hi, right, where is she going, though? Person. Well, I mean, why is she going? We need to search for that Let reason, Nathan. Out. Thank you, Oberleth. Don't mention it. Well, well, first, we're gonna read this. What tidings, Uncle? From our uncle. Oh, you can pause the video if you want. Need to read this. That was funny. That, that was funny. <laughs> That's the point of Psychwiz. More you do longer, the your, the main story just kind of starts progressing without you. Uh, well, I'll need someone to keep an eye on Mid. Did you know there was a game I played where every time you battle someone, 
or an enemy, the the game starts to progress on its own. Bullshit. Seems that way. Well, and I purchased that game, Nathan. What's bullshit? It very is, if you think about it. What is this game? Uh, don't be so hard on it. Uh, Romania Saga. Kind of fun. Oh, Everyone never heard of it. All that it's basically like a Square Enix mm -hmm. title. <laughs> You're right. Okay. Anyway, we all set to head to the old. So basically, the... yeah, that's about, about it, really. It's like a Square Enix <laughs> title, and you can do whatever with it. Is, now, it? Not after he asked for me is it an old game? Oh, it is. It's yeah. It's an old game. Xbox 360 game. No, it was like uh, Nintendo, if that makes sense. It's like the Final Fantasy. It's like Final Fantasy, but it's more like it existed on Nintendo, Nintendo um, Game Boy Color, and then it started to progress more into an independent game. Okay. I don't get it. So, what do you mean by, like, the... Where you do quests, and then the story just moves on? Yeah. So basically, there's no uh, main story at all. It's more like, it's everything's all side quests, and you just have, like, a... A time limit every time you try, you battle something. Oh, story progresses. Like that's like a, like a, like a modern, I don't know, it feels like, you know what? It feels like sort of online, like the, well, Sid, like those I remember what you told new me. sort of online games, <laughs> like the, uh, but if no one is listening to what you have to say, you may or you have to do this quest, it. or else it's gonna be gone, in this, I don't know, three days left, or four days left. I yeah, I like that, that basically. Hugo Kuka is gone. His shadow looms over us no longer. I don't think it's annoying. It's not annoying, but maybe it maybe it's like difficult. Quick, <laughs> like difficult. The boss. Okay. The lost. Oh, okay. Jared's calling you. Not even the phoenix. Oh, uh, yeah. Bring people back from the dead. Yeah. You want Persona. Life yeah. has a beginning. In a way, yeah, it's... Hang on. You, give me a second. I got. I really have to so be careful what I say. Plans. Wait, Persona? Uh, I don't think... Yeah. I bat wait, yeah. I don't think I'll battles... To the crystals. When you battle enemy there, the time progresses. No, um... May we join you? Oh, no, I... <laughs> I think, like... When you end the day each day, you kind of get that day limit, I think. So it refreshes. Lady Karen. What a pleasant Something surprise. like that. No, they did. I thought they did. drop by and see how you were all oh, We feel ready enough to restock. No, you just do, um, just do anything you want throughout the day, throughout the game. So if you, you're just grinding, that's it. Yeah, if you're grinding, you're not- your day's gonna get... progress. Because, you know, you have to do like... Like a... Like a partnership... With the character, and then there you go. Or rest for the day. When you do certain activities in the real world... Yeah. But it would never as well, in the metaverse, no... Productive. Yeah. I know. That, Night marches on. That, that way... That, that's where I was getting at. Soon, there will be no escaping sites like these. But that's like, yeah. Yeah. So our mission remains I unchanged. We cannot stop until every mother crystal is gone and their thirst for ether with them. So our activity-based progression is Drake's tail in the crystalline dominion. Mm -hmm. uh, so activity-based pro progression, basically. Outside. Um, Russians and both increase decision skills and rank. Like the the characters are not driven by the place. Not that that'll stop you. 
Sorry, I'm just reading something. Trying to see if I'm trying to make sense of what I'm saying. It feels like an open world game. It is actually. Oh, did I understand that beginning? Being like, it refreshes. It refreshes each time you battle. And the more time you you battle, the the game kind of progresses longer and longer. You wanted to and so you can hear him do so pretty much yeah? well, the, the game became a, a reality. Like, the more you battle in real life, and then just... Me go with yeah. Time oh, progresses. <laughs> Stop that, you break me bones, you great galoot. <laughs> Your main story will kind of basically start once you kind of get to, like, the There's a caravan that runs final, uh... Between the Dominion and the uh, Black um, but at it's certain point, the missions won't be available anymore. Yeah, basically. Exactly. Basically like that with all the side quests and everything. So the story is kind of like based on your, based on your choices. No, I think, um, the missions that you do, you'll be locked out of certain missions. Get off! You'll... You'll miss, like, a lot of things the more you battle. So, if there's an active quest and you battle something, that quest is no longer there. Yeah, I'm saying, like, in real life, it became a real reality. Yeah. Yeah, basically, that's how the game rolls. You see that, Sid? Your protege is making a proper little outlaw of himself. Our next target is Twinside. The crystal. Let's go.